Have you ever wondered how to maintain your electric battery? Now that can be an electric battery on either, hey, a regular hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, or an all-electric vehicle. So have you ever wondered how to maintain that battery? Have you ever wondered if you should drain it? Or have you ever wondered if you should top it off? Uh, topping it off is the common practice of, you know, constantly plugging it in as often as possible. So you're at 95%, you plug it in, you drive it a little, you know, you're back at 92%, you plug it in, you bring it back to 100. Is that bad for a battery? Well, I'm going to answer all that and a whole lot more. Really, my goal here is to answer all your electric questions because this is new tech for most of us and it's complicated for most of us, but I'm going to make it really simple. I'm going to go over all the do's and don'ts of electric battery proper maintenance and care so do you care about your vehicle do you care about your battery and do you want it to last as long as possible do you want it to be reliable do you want it to be it to be durable long lasting and not catch fire well there's definite ways uh, that you can definite ways that you can ensure that all that all this battery stuff goes over well that you have a fantastic electric vehicle experience and i'm not just talking about electric vehicles i'm talking about any vehicle that has you know a considerable considerable sized battery in it and even what I'm going to be saying a lot of it, uh, it does uh, is true also for a small 12 volt battery you know such as you know making sure that it doesn't get too low I'm going to be covering all this I'm going to be taking care of you I'm here to help so I'm Johnny and you're watching Johnny's car care and reviews so over the next few videos. I'm going to break this up so you don't have to sit down and watch, you know, a 40 minute video. I'm going to break this up to into little mini episodes so that you really out of all of this, you know, when you've got five minutes to spare, you can watch this and get a little bit of what you need. And after watching them all, you'll be a battery expert. So stay tuned, please right before we put the pedal to the metal, just hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on helpful videos, uh, and also, you know, sometimes entertaining videos, I do like to take vehicles off road. I love to test and review vehicles uh, and I do really like to help. That's the whole goal of the channel. So please like and subscribe. It helps feed a poodle who's off scratching away at another section of the office, but it helps feed and dress that poodle and helps get this information out to more people. So let's put the pedal to the metal, pe pedal to the metal now and jump right in. Okay, so to be helpful, let's start off with setting expectations. What should you expect from your battery and what do you need to know to not be fooled? Because, you know, there's a lot of talk of autonomy, how long, how much, how, how much distance you're going to be able to cover with your battery. But we got to set expectations right because you might think, hey, you know, out of a Mustang Mach-E, I'm going to get 350 kilometers out of the Select. And hey, you might get actually a good amount more and you might get a good amount less. And that's what this video is here to cover. So let's just start with what we can call expectations. What should you really expect in, reg in regards to, you know, range, autonomy? So let's get rid of a bit of what you could call range anxiety. Let's set the record straight right now. When it's very cold, so generally under 40 degrees Fahrenheit or really under about 5 degrees Celsius, there's going to be less electric power available. So if we're talking about a plug-in, a plug-in that could normally get, let's say, under ideal, perfect conditions, 80 kilometers. Well, that's, you might be getting as low as 40 or 35. So if a vehicle gives you an average of average autonomy of 60 kilometers, do expect to get 20 to 25 less and maybe upwards of 20 kilometers more if you're, you know, you apply what I'm going to be covering in the video because I will cover across several episodes tricks to get more out of your battery, but do expect to get less when it's cold out. Also, on the other end of the spectrum, in high temperatures, in high temperatures, so really anything above 85 degrees, uh, expect that battery to drain more quickly. There's definitely things that you can do to avoid it draining more quickly, and we'll be covering that off. But also, let's just move on before we really get into a deep dive. Let's talk about something really important in regards to setting the record straight. That's topping off. So topping off is the expression or the, the phrase that describes constantly plugging in your 
electric vehicle. Whether it's all electric or a hybrid, you do not want to be plugging it in constantly. Uh, and that's because when you plug it in constantly, you know, let's say you go from 90% to 100 and you're always playing in the upper peak bracket, that's just not good for the overall durability of the battery. And also on the other end of the spectrum, you don't want to be taking it down to 0% either. And the vehicle, trust me, these electric vehicles never allow the batteries to truly get to 0% because below freezing, they would freeze and then they'd be completely ruined. And not, not only would they be ruined, lithium catches fire uh, when it comes into contact with water or extreme humidity. So in freezing, there'd be cracks in the battery, water would get in, and you'd have an explosively bad day. Very hard to put out also for firefighters. Lithium likes to burn and burn, very hard to put out. So if you don't wanna shorten that battery life, Two things, don't constantly top it off. Don't always be playing between you know 90 and 100% and don't let it often drain down to 0%. Really, if you wanna protect your battery, don't let it, uh, try to avoid letting it go below 15%. That's a good safety zone. Now, speaking of charging, gotta set the record straight here and it's about fast chargers. So the DC fast charging, sorry to tell you, but that's not good for your battery. You want to only do that when it's necessary. It's okay to do once in a while. You know, your one or two big road trips, that's fine. Use the fast charging. But you don't want to be regularly charging up on the fast charger for two reasons. One, if you're cheap like me, it's it costs a bit. It costs more than charging at home. But it's also bad for your battery. So that's definitely going to affect the, the durability and reliability of your battery. So two things can happen. Your battery might last, probably last, not as long and doing a lot of fast charging also not only is it about the longevity of the battery but it might also start holding less power so giving you less range over time and those are two things we really want to avoid we want to have a great experience with your electric vehicle keep this in mind now the last point i'm going to be talking about for on the section of you know setting the record straight this one kind of hurts me I love to drive sometimes a little bit aggressively. It's fun. I love the acceleration and I especially love the acceleration on an electric vehicle because that instant torque is addictive. But you need to make sure you don't get addictive, addicted if you want your battery to last a good period of time. And the reason for that is excessive daily aggressive driving will shorten the battery life of your high voltage battery. So you got to keep that in mind. That's not a whole lot of fun, but that's something definitely to keep in mind. So definitely think about cold temperatures. Think about hot temperatures. Remember, just to conclude, remember, you're going to get less autonomy when it's very hot and very cold. In the upcoming video, I'm going to tell you what to do in hot and cold temperatures to get the most out of your battery. There's a whole lot you can do to get a whole lot more out of your battery. Remember, topping off, constantly plugging it in when it's already almost full, you know, 85, 90%. You don't need to plug it in quite yet because that's going to hurt the long-term lifespan of the vehicle. And it will uh, also, in the long run, make it so that your battery holds less charge, less range, less what you will call autonomy. Remember, avoid that excessive deep fast charging. Don't fast charge on a regular basis. That's rough. And I'll also be telling you how fast charging can cost a fortune because smart electric vehicles won't accept the full charge of a fast charge when the battery is very low and also when the battery is very high. So like usually the last 15%, so from zero to 15%, it won't take a fast charge. And I'll tell you why in the next video. And also usually from 80%, 200% or 90, 200% depending the manufacturer and how much they want to protect that battery. But those, you know, that fast charger, they're only going to let generally about 32 amps, which is, you know, your regular household 240 volt charging system lets out 32 amps. On the fast charger, the battery should, a good manufacturer will protect itself have a bit worse of a reputation for charge times, but they will protect that battery when it's very low and near full for the durability of the vehicle. And 
to, you know, in conclusion on having the right expectations and the right know-how, setting the record straight for electric vehicles and not just all electric. We are talking hybrids. Remember, avoid a regular aggressive driving. That's hard on the battery. So in the next video, this is what we're going to cover. We're going to cover cold weather tips uh, to make sure that, you know, you treat your vehicle right, that you do the right things before going off and driving your electric vehicle when the weather is cold so that your battery lasts longer, so that you get more range, more autonomy out of the battery, and that you just have a better overall experience with your electric vehicle. And we're also going to be covering... Of course, we'll be covering what to do during those high temperatures. So if you're in a region that doesn't get cold weather, don't worry. In the same video, we'll be covering all the tips and tricks so that you have a great experience with your electric vehicle or plug-in vehicle or hybrid when the temperatures are very we'll high. We'll also be explaining why you should avoid topping off, uh, what the danger for topping off is, also what the danger is for letting regularly letting your battery go below 15% autonomy as well as I did say that you need to avoid that excessive fast charging. I'm gonna to explain to you why and in the next video, we will be concluding with some money saving tips. So we'll cover all that in the next episode on you know, driving your electric vehicle and having a good time. So thanks for watching Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. Your co-host Winston is, you know, whining to get out of the office. Sorry about that side noise, but uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. I hope you, I wish you all more cars and more power and hope you get to put the pedal to the metal. Until next time.